ग्लैंडुलर एपिथेलियम इट कम्स इन साफ ग्लैंडुलर एपिथेलियम ग्लैंडुलर एपिथेलियम इट कम्स इन साफ ग्लैंडुलर एपिथेलियम तो दस ग्लैंडुलर एपिथेलियम सीक्रेट्स न्यूट्रस सी दिस रीजन दिस रीजन कॉल मस्कुलरिस okay so mucosa also has uh, digestive glands so those glands uh, secretes uh, uh, some secretions so those secretions uh, performs uh, digestion okay that's so that is glandular epithelium secretes mucus glandular epithelium consists of goblet cells so those uh, goblet cells secretes mucus and also consists of uh, digestive glands digestive glands also involved in the process of uh, digestion so that is the Second point. Third point has secretory. Secretory has secretory and absorbed cells. Has secretory and absorbed cells. Has secretory and absorbed cells. Secretory means some kinds of a secretions are released. Okay, so this region has secretory and absorptive cells. Absorptive means what? Absorption means, for example, I am saying the milk is falling on the ground. The milk is spilled on the ground. If you will keep a tissue paper, if you will keep tissue paper, the tissue paper soaked up milk from the ground. That process is called absorption. Okay, absorption. Okay, so has secretory and absorptive cells. Has secretory and absorptive cells. Next, fourth one is has moist. Has moist. Has moist. Has moist and friction. Friction resist. friction resist epithelial lining okay so this mucus mucus always moist and also friction friction means force resist epithelial lining is present that is the explanation about first elementary canal layer mucosa elementary canal layers are four types one is mucosa sub mucosa third one is muscularis eczema and fourth one is cirrhosa Among those four, the first one is the mucosa. It is also called mucosal membrane. It is the innermost part of the elementary canal. It is the innermost part of the elementary canal that covers the central cavity. You may. The mucosa, the mucosa, the mucosa consists of glandular epithelium. Glandular epithelium contains goblet cells which secrete mucus. Which secrete mucus. Okay, so that's all. Next, sir. Those also contains digestive glands. Next, has secretory mucosal cells has the nature to secrete and absorb two cells. Absorption cells. Okay. Next, has moist and friction resistant. Friction force resistant epithelial lining also present. That is the explanation about mucosa. Mucosa innermost layer mucosa. Sub mucosa. Sub mucosa. 
Next one is sub mucosa. Sub mucosa. Next, see here, it is present. Next to the mucosa, it is present. This is called sub mucosa. Sub mucosa. It is present next to the mucous membrane. It is present next to the mucous membrane. See, this is like this way. Submucosa. It is present next to the mucosa. Next to the mucosa. Next to the mucosa. It is also called submuscularis layer. Sub mucosal layer. It is also called sub mucosal Next, it consists of loose hold of connective tissue. Loose, loose hold. It consists of loose hold of connective, connective tissue. It consists of loose hold of connective tissue. See, connective. The water is in the connective tissue. Connective some some member membranes together. That's why. So this this region, this region. Okay. So this region is called submucosal membrane. It consists of loose fold of connective tissue. Loose fold of connective tissue. It consists of blood, lymph, lymph vessels, blood lymph vessels, blood lymph vessels. And nerve supply. Nerve supply. Okay. So from mouth up to anus, there are four wall layers are present. In those four layers, from here onwards up to anal region, slightly from here onwards. So mucosa is present, submucosa. So if this submucosa contains a loose fold of connective tissue, very loosely arranged connective tissue. The connective tissue hold this layer, this layer together. Behind the layer, front the layer. Both the layers connected together. And contains blood. Lymph vessels. Lymph vessels. White fluid is secreted through lymph vessels. Okay? So that uh, lymph vessels. White vessels are secreted through lymph vessels. Even that lymph vessels are present. And nervous supply. Nervous tissue is present. So that's a thing all the parts are present. Next, in the odinum. In the odinum. In the odinum. Submucosa also contains digestive glands. Also present digestive glands. Also present digestive glands. In the odinum. In the odinum. Here, why sir duodenum? Why duodenum part has come? See here, from here onwards down. In mouth, four layers are present. In the uh, esophagus, four layers are present. Stomach, four layers are present. Like that. All body parts. In the, in duodenum, duodenum contains four parts. In those four parts, sir, in duodenum, these four layers in duodenum, Digestive glands. Those digestive glands, out of four layers, those digestive glands, except the location is the submucosal. That submucosal membrane in the diodenum, digestive glands are present. These are also involved in the process of digestion. And yesterday I said that hepato pancreatic will open into the duodenum. Liver juice, pancreatic juice entered into the duodenum. In the duodenum, all are mixed along with these digestive Secretions along with these digestive secretions. So that is the explanation about the submucosa. So in mucosa, mucosa, one point missing. That is what. So the mucosa has fold of cells, loose fold of cells. Those loose fold of cells are called villi. Allah, you know very well. These villi are present in small intestine. Okay, so mucosa, mucosa in intestine, in the inner side, in the mucosal membrane side, 
there are number of folds are there those folds are called villi villi this is the part related to mucosa first layer so second layer points are these submucosa it is also called submucosal membrane it is present next to the mucous membrane it forms a loose fold of connective tissue it contains blood liquids and nerve supply in duodenum submucosal membrane contains digestive glands these digestive glands are involved in the process of digestion or involved in the process of digestion that is the second muscular layer muscle layer okay let's start one third one third one third one is muscularis eczema disease disease these are two muscularis eczema muscularis eczema muscularis eczema okay it is just a number only muscularis eczema okay so here in this muscular eczema in this one smooth muscles smooth muscles are involved smooth muscles are involved so see it is present next to the submucosal membrane it is present next to the sub mucosal membrane so that's it it is present next to the sub mucosal membrane sub mucosal mucosal membrane next see here <coughs> two muscle layers two muscle layers involved to make this muscularis eczema two muscle layers to thin to thin smooth muscle layers make this to thin smooth to thin smooth muscle layers in order to make this layer one is one is outer one is outer eczema inner eczema okay one is uh, this is this is this is inner eczema this is outer eczema these two collectively called muscularis eczema one is inner so two one smooth muscle layers is set up one is inner 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 circular layer inner circular layer outer longitudinal layer together we make muscularis eczema inner inner circular and outer longitudinal longitudinal see here inner inner circular inner circular outer longi longitudinal inner circular outer longitudinal inner circular means what like this like this inner circular like this like this inner circular this so we got inner circular inner circular is inner circular and outer these are all outer longitudinal like this longitudinal like this longitudinal And so on, like that we have to draw outer longitudinal muscle layers. Because it make muscularis eczema. This an oblique, an oblique muscle layers also present in some regions of muscularis eczema. An oblique already when I taught stomach topic in the stomach three muscle layers are present. 
so one is uh, circular one is uh, circular one is uh, longitudinal one type of muscles are oblique so these are three muscles uh, helps in churning the food as a result of churning the food is called chyle chyle as a result of churning of food is called chyle chyle okay so that's it. an oblique muscle is also present in some regions of muscularis externa okay that's it. this is the third layer muscularis externa muscularis externa An oblique muscle layer. You see, so in muscular third one is the muscularis externa. In that, an oblique muscle layer, oblique, oblique muscle layer. Okay, slope direction muscle layer also present in some region of the alimentary canal, particularly that point example stomach region. In stomach region, oblique circular muscles, vertical muscles, oblique muscles. those muscles so those three muscles helps in the partial digestion of food material helps in the partial digestion of food okay so that's fourth one is cirosa cirosa so cirosa fourth one is cirosa fourth one is Cirosa. This is outer layer. This is outer layer. This outer layer. This outer layer. Okay. This outer layer is called cirosa. Cirosa. It is the outermost layer. It is the outermost layer consists of loose fold of connective tissue. Loose fold of connective tissue. It consists of loose. Four of connective tissue. Okay, so see over. It is made up of thin squamous epithelial tissue. See over. It is made up of thin. It is made up of thin squamous squamous epithelium. Thin squamous epithelium. See here, squamous epithelium means tissue. Already in the lower class, ninth class, epithelial tissue, thin squamous epithelial tissue, stratified epithelial tissue, uh, germinal epithelial tissue. Some epithelial tissue names you study. So those topic also in first few years is there. On um, eighth chapter is there. Actually, animal physiology, animal physiology. That means human physiology topic after eighth chapter comes actually. So when this this is actually last topics, then these last topics going to be discussed uh, before that only epithelial tissue, parenchyma tissue, implants, parenchyma tissue, polyparenchyma tissue, sclerenchyma tissue, like that in animals, uh, uh, germinal epithelium, uh, squamous epithelium, uh, stratified epithelium, uh, okay, like that the columnar epithelium, uh, like that various uh, tissues you will study. After that we will get uh, this topic, but uh, I have started. Uh, Uh, this topic earlier, okay, no problem. So, squamous, thin squamous epithelium. It is a kind of a tissue that is present in cirrhosa. Cirrhosa. About these uh, tissues, tissues topic on eighth chapter I will teach. Now, just listen. This is a thin squamous epithelium. Thin, thin squamous epithelium. It is made up of cirrhosa. Cirrhosa. Cirrhosa is made up of by thin squamous. Called mesothelium, mesothelium. Called mesothelium, called mesothelium. It secretes, it secretes. Well, mesothelium. It is supported by loose fold of connective tissue. Mesothelium is supported by loose fold of connective tissue. Okay, that that is one point. So cirrhosa secretes fluids. Cirrhosa secretes fluids. So those fluids, 
She was the second fluid. So those fluids will make the outermost part of the intestine moist. Outermost part of the intestine moist. Okay. She was the which second fluid. These fluids will make outermost part. Outermost, outermost part, outermost part of intestine. Outermost part of intestine keep moist. So that the, so that the intestine and the other parts can slide opposite to each other without any friction. Without any friction due to once again, last point I'm saying. Okay, serosa, serosa secretes, serosa cells secretes fluids. Those fluids always keep moist outermost part of the intestine. So outermost part of the intestine always moist because of the serosa secretes fluids. So that the parts of the intestine and the other organs can move. Can slide, slide means move. Slide, slide, slide means move. Slide opposite to each other without friction, without force, because fluids will make that flexibility. Okay, fluids will make flexibility. Okay, that's all. So this is the explanation uh, how to last part. Serosa, serosa is the outermost part. It is made up of by Thin squamous epithelium called mesothelium. So the mesothelium is supported by loose fold of connective tissue. It secretes, it means the serosa secretes fluids. Those fluids always keep the outermost part of the intestine moist. So that the moist, so that the intestine and the other parts can slide, can slide, can move. Opposite to each other without any friction. Okay? That's all. Then while we are playing, while we are jumping, dancing, in the time, some, some of our body parts moves. Just little bit movement, muscles movement. So that muscular movement occurs due to sliding movement. So that sliding occurs due to fluids. So those fluids are just keep moist outermost part of the intestine and other parts so that uh, all parts uh, move opposite to each other without any force without any friction so this is the so histology of the elementary with this uh, histology of the elementary canal topic is finish next the digestive glands next digestive glands The digestive glands of the elementary canals are located in the the digestive glands, these are located in the elementary canal. So these are all called digestive glands are associated glands which are located in the elementary canal. Those are Brunus glands, those are Brunus glands. Brunus glands, strips of liver cone, etc. So these are called digestive glands are elementary glands present in the elementary canal. Along with these, some other salivary glands, salivary glands, salivary glands, pancreatic gland, salivary glands, pancreatic glands, liver also associated. 
filled with the glands. That's why these are all called extra elementary canal glands. Extra elementary canal glands. So, Brunner's gland, crypts, crypts of Lepercum. Brunner's gland and crypts of Lepercum, these are present in large intestine. Sorry, small intestine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Small intestine. Brunner's gland and crypts of Lepercum, these are present in small intestine. We can play some more. We will discuss. So, these are part of elementary canal. Inside of the elementary canal, these are present. Along with these, there are many glands. Pancreatic gland, liver, these are also associated with the process of digestion. So these are called extra elementary canal gland. Extra elementary canal gland. The secretions of salivary glands, pancreatic gland, liver, also involved in the process of digestion. Therefore, these glands are called extra elementary canal glands. Extra elementary canal glands. These also play a major role in the process of digestion of food. So about the time, yes, four weeks was there. So about to this role, we will keep this decision in next class. So now we will see some students who sent uh, doubts, uh, those doubts, we uh, will see that. Can't see third, okay. Muscularis eczema. Epithelial, what is epithelial warts or not? What is epithelial, sir? That is, huh? epithelial. All I am saying, ma. Epithelial. Epithelial means what? Epithelial. Tissue. It is a tissue. Columnar epithelium, ciliated epithelium, brush bordered epithelium. Like these are different types of food. Okay. So different types of <coughs> tissues are there. Okay. Different types of tissues are there. Okay. So those. Who will keep this question? Okay? That's all. That is one. Next, sir. One more doubt. Repeat, repeat, repeat last point. Second point, last word. Second point, last word means one. Crips of liver cone. Crips of liver cone. It is a gland. That is two glands. Okay? So, Brunner's gland, crips of liver cone gland, and gastric glands also is there. In stomach, gastric glands also is there. These are all the parts of uh, elementary canal. Along with these, uh, salivary glands, pancreatic gland, and liver glands. These are also a major role in the process of uh, digestion. About these, in next class, we will keep this question. Okay, so this is the explanation regarding uh, histology of the elementary canal. Okay, ma'am. Cecum. Cecum. C A E C E M. Cecum. C cum. Okay? So C cum. Okay? So with uh, uh, today class uh, elementary canal topic finished. Tomorrow onwards digestive glands explanation we will see. Day after tomorrow onwards process of digestion we will see. Okay ma? So now the meeting session is finished. You can leave the meeting. Okay? So get ready for next classes.